It's the eighth opening of Parliament, the third under his presidency. It comes at a time of pressure as well as increased hopes for peace. But Ashraf Ghani's popularity rating is at its lowest since taking office three years ago. In a recent survey, more than half of Afghans said they were dissatisfied with him and the government. Ghani is accused of breaking election promises. Unemployment has increased, so has poppy cultivation. People are less well off and it's argued that the country is more divided than when he was elected. There's also been a mixed reaction to his surprising offer to the Taliban last week of peace talks without precondition. His offer welcomed by the international community, but not by all Afghans. People of Afghanistan who suffered should be consulted, should, uh, should know that they are part of the process. The Taliban has been using suicide bombings to devastating effect, especially in Kabul. Attacks included the killing of more than 100 people when an ambulance was blown up. Dawlat Begum's 26-year-old son, Juma, was killed in that attack in January. Whoever has blood on their hands cannot come and negotiate peace. They should be held accountable. Enough blood has been shed. There are tens of thousands of people who have lost loved ones at the hands of the Taliban. Not all are ready to forgive for peace at any cost, and not all are happy with what his government has achieved. People have been expecting much more. Not even 1% of those expectations have been met, and the Taliban has taken more towns and territory. It's almost a case of heads they win, tails I lose for Ghani. Pressure is building internally and from international allies. Being president of Afghanistan requires a delicate balancing act. Obviously, you cannot uh, make everybody happy, especially when you have so many parties involved uh, internally and externally into the Afghan conflict. Uh, but looking at um, the Afghan situation, I think this is the best Afghanistan has got. Um, when we speak about alternatives, we really don't have one at the moment. The next presidential election isn't due for two years, but hopes are building that before then, all parties, including the Taliban, will have come to the negotiating table. It's not just about peace. Most people here believe that will come eventually. It's more about what that peace will cost in terms of concessions, how they can heal the wounds of this terrible conflict, and how Afghanistan can achieve true reconciliation. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Kabul.